It was never really clear whether Fady Season was cheating or not. Even after being banned for selling and promoting scripts with a fully dedicated channel to cheating, there was never really definitive proof that he was cheating. But in this video, we will be proving just that. Fady Season has been using a third party device on Tilu Esports, and with this analysis, we hope to show people how to recognize modded gameplay and overall spread awareness about cheating in this game. Wonderful evening. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Cedric. Today I'm making a follow-up on a video post about Fady Season. Since people didn't understand what I was trying to show, I will be doing an in-depth analysis on how he's actually cheating. First, I want to say this video is not about being hateful or disrespectful towards this person, but to criticize the Tilo Esports administration for their sloppy anti-cheat system and overall spread awareness about cheating in this game. After the first video I thought everything will be crystal clear for everybody but I was surprisingly wrong about this because for I think for everybody who plays this game longer than 5 minutes I mean it's, it should be clear that somebody is not right about this gameplay still people were messaging me and supporting me in what I was doing and just they felt 100% like me we just don't like people who cheat because it's disrespectful towards the legend playing community it, it is really sad that admin bans cheaters apparently but not the real cheaters he bans people for not submitting footage or playing on a multi account or abusing the admin stuff but the actual cheaters they get away without punishment this is kind of upsetting for me and I think for a fair amount of legend players they feel the same about it Anyways, this video is not only about Fady Season cheating, this is a general video about the cheating problem on Tilo Esports and especially the last of us. I will <coughs> link you to videos in the description where you can see an aim assist and like and just a public video about what what they sell in a like script for example like rapid fire, uh, anti recoil, like you can check it out if you never saw anything like it. Also it has to be said that the Kronos mags won't make you like a Rambo or anything. It really just everything depends on the script you have because you can basically modify everything you want, for example like how much the recoil goes down and stuff. You can modify all of that you can modify how fast your rapid goes a you can put in an aim abuse you, trust me it is there's there's a lot you can do and there's a lot of possibilities where you can like get something really unfair done there you have the a list of modifications that are not allowed on Tilo Esports and also there's an point any sort of rapid fire modifications or adapters that allow you and to have extra aim assist, anti recoil, auto mark, aim lock, anything that is not allowed in professional esport tournaments. That's a list of all the third party devices and everything else that is forbidden on his website. So I think we should go now into this gameplay and check out if we can find any proof of him using any aim assist, anti-recall, aim abuse, etc. Three quick notes before we start the analysis. I want to make it clear that not everything we say is 100% accurate in terms of knowing the exact scripts and values he has on. Do not mistake this with us having zero evidence on him. What I'm saying is it's extremely hard to determine the exact modifications he has at a point in time. Just look at any cheating scandal. It takes a lot of time and effort to determine whether someone was cheating or not. Especially in unprofessional events where you are not under strict and professional surveillance. This is why some get away with it and others don't. Or you could have gotten away with it but ended up later confessing that you did. Bozo. All I'm saying is that we aren't accusing him for nothing. Just know that every successful accusation starts with reasonable speculation. Also, one important detail that Ivo didn't get to tell you is that you can turn your mod on and off at any point in time during a game. And I can't stress enough how important this is, but you have to know that all it takes is clicking two buttons on your controller. It's extremely easy to turn it off and on, and even easier to modify the strength of the script. This is why some clips look normal and others look very alarming. And Fady is very educated in script making, so don't be fooled. One last thing, please keep an open mind while watching this video and please watch the whole video before leaving your opinion. This is not supposed to be a hateful video or anything, it's mainly aimed towards the admins to help prevent cheating. So no attacking this person, no fighting in the comments or anything, you can have your civilized debates but we're just trying to help spread awareness. Now. With all of that being said, let's get into the video. In the first clip, you can see how his anti-recoil works. After each burst, his aim resets to a set position. This is because of a program script defaulting his aim back. 
You can even see the anti-recoil and extra aim assist go hand to hand, and to further understand, I'll help demonstrate what is happening by adding some circles. The blue circle will represent the last fired position, and the red circle will represent the reset point. Once his target is hit, that is telling the anti-recoil that this is the last fired position, so don't go past his height level. You can see him miss the first two shots and hit the last. So once it detects that target has been hit, the anti-recoil is activated and the aim assist locks on for a smooth track. It will then reset to a set position, same thing for the second burst but this time every shot is hit, making it look more robotic. Target has been hit, activates anti-recoil, aim assist locked on for a smooth track, all while maintaining the height limit, and you can see that by the weird bounce effect it does. Now, I know some of you might say, well, his aim goes down and anti-recoil is supposed to keep a steady spray. Remember, you can modify every detail to your liking and Ethan isn't dumb. He knows we are watching his gameplay and he knows he can't make it obvious and the way he tricks you is by giving it a reset point, the red circle, into making it seem like he's controlling the recoil. The sticky aim assist script is the one responsible for this and I'll go into more detail on how that script works later but for now just think of it as extra aim assist. This script is the one responsible for the quick snaps and responsible for the smooth tracking, hence the name Sticky Aim Assist Script. Here's the exact same thing in this clip. Pay attention to where his reticle goes after the last shot he fires. You can see the anti-recoil do its thing, but the extra aim assist is more clear here. And like I said before, the sticky aim assist script is the one responsible for these quick snaps. In these next situations you will see it again. Try and see if you can spot it yourself. This is 100% proof of him cheating. It's, it's a very common occurrence of the exact same thing happening over and over again. The script is doing exactly what it's supposed to do every single time. It's precisely snapping to a set position which is not possible to do on a controller. So why isn't it possible? In this game, it has like a, a drag-like effect to it. This is because of the controller's analog sticks being imprecise. And as we know, unlike a mouse, analog sticks are inaccurate when it comes to precision due to lack of range and motion. Here, you can see the controller's inaccuracy. Yet, it has a smooth-like drag effect to it. Meanwhile, a mouse is more accurate and choppy. It even snaps to its target at times. This means aiming like this should be impossible and instead it should be inconsistent yet predictable, like in these clips. It's not resetting to a set position after every burst. It doesn't have precise snaps. It stands there where the last shot was fired. But this, it's, it's unnatural. It's robotic even. It doesn't even have a choppy or snap effect like a mouse does. It's automatic, programmed to snap back to a set position rather than a human-like control. Also, quick note, notice how he's always maintaining ADS in every clip. This is because if he does not maintain ADS, the script won't work because it detects no reticle. Now, Fady actually responded to the accusations, and before I explain what the sticky aim assist script is, I first want to break down the key points he brings up in his argument. Those points being, absolutely nothing, I mean, he doesn't even really defend himself at all and instead just spews nonsense that is completely irrelevant to the situation. In the first sentence, he just says that from other POVs, it looks weird when he kills them because he has a never before seen playstyle. But this statement is completely untrue. The only reason why he's being accused of cheating is because we are watching his own POV. Nobody caught him out on anything up until he started uploading his POV. If he had never uploaded anything, nobody would have said a thing. This is simply because it's impossible to know if someone is cheating without their POV, especially when it involves this degree of cheating. In fact, he even deleted a few videos because of this. So overall, this was just a poor response. Throughout the whole paragraph, he never once acknowledges why his aim looks so off, and instead just basically says, I'm so good, I make it look like I'm cheating. 
I mean, he's not revolutionizing how the game is played today. This game has been out for a very long time and we have seen everything by this point. There isn't anything new to discover, so when we visibly see weird things happening right in front of us, we're able to tell if it's unnatural with no explanation. Shut up. Hey, don't even think about cutting in line. Fucking A. I'm waiting on this rap forever. In this clip you can see him tracking his opponent. Looks normal at first, but look closer. After he shoots his burst, you can see his aim snap to its target. This is a perfect example of the sticky aim assist script. It's the most popular script for gaming, and the way it works is, it makes both your analog sticks constantly move in specific patterns. Doing this manipulates the in-game aim assist into giving you stronger aim assist. You could even modify the value if you wanted. When you stray from left to right, it also increases it. This makes it more noticeable like in this clip for example. Now here's what normal tracking looks like. Again, no automated snapping or resetting to a set position, just predictable smooth aiming. The player is tracking its target by dragging, not snapping. This is a very similar situation to the last clip. When he fires his revolver, the script activates and snaps to its target, just like I explained before. You can't make the argument that he's just flicking to the left with Sense 10, because it's such an automated robotic-like adjustment that doesn't look human in any way. You can't make such a small precise adjustment like that with a controller. I for one can vouch for this, I mean, I've played on Sense 10 for 7 or 8 years, and my aim has never once looked like his, and I'm sure every other player who's played with Sense 10 for a very long time can recognize that his aim doesn't look normal at all. Hence the reason why a lot of people are calling him out for cheating. This is what a normal flick looks like on Sense 10. It's a fast drag, not a programmed snap. If you watch any other POV with flicks, you will see them either go out of ADS and reposition their reticle or do a human-like snap that doesn't look robotic. Back to this clip. It's important to know that the script only activates when you fire a weapon. And look, it snaps once he fires a weapon, perfectly describing how the script works. This is not a coincidence. This further proves that he is using a third party device. We've seen scripts fire weapons at the fastest rate possible without a human doing anything. So it should be no surprise that a script can even help track players on its own, letting the user barely put any effort in. Like Ivo said before, there are so many possibilities that you can do with a third party device. Finally, this is the last piece of evidence showcasing how Fady Season is cheating by using a third party device. I want you to pay attention to the camera shake. Extreme camera shaking is also associated with the sticky aim assist script. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't know much about this specific topic. I'm only saying this because people who actually know the ins and outs of Acronis can verify that extreme camera shaking means you are using the sticky aim assist script. So for the rest of this, I'll let my good friend Ivo do the talking. My man said, if his camera is shaking like that, that's 100% proof of an aim assist, of sticky aim assist. You can ask everybody, anybody who knows about Kronos, you, you will... You you will like done not so that about wraps up this analysis i hope this video helped you understand a little bit about how scripts act and respond this analysis was aimed towards the general audience of tilu esports content in hopes of showing you how to spot cheating and to show you how easy cheaters can get away with it because time after time instead of facing repercussion and consequence they get praised Think about that. It's gotten so bad to where cheaters are getting praised all the time now because people don't know what cheating actually looks like. Just because people don't see the radar flash, they think they're not cheating, when in reality there's so much more to it. Now that doesn't mean if you see something weird, you should automatically assume they're cheating. And I'm looking at you Reddit, the guys who think pop in shooting and aiming in too fast is cheating. If you think someone is cheating, before you say anything, analyze it and see if there is reasonable explanation to why that specific thing looked weird. If you can't come up with anything, then they could be cheating. With the knowledge you have now, I want you to go watch his video after you finish this one and really pay attention to his gameplay. I only showed you the most obvious clips where it looks script related, but there are many Soto clips I didn't show. We'll link it down in the description, so go check it out for yourself. And if you're still confused about how scripts work, or isn't convinced that he's cheating, then do your own research. Not only will you be able to differentiate legit from cheating, but you'll have that information forever. 
Trust me, knowledge is power. Thanks for watching the video. This was part one out of three videos I plan on making. The second being another analysis on a widely accused cheater, and the third being a direct message to the admins of Tilo Esports.